Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on July 22nd, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at amazing images of our sun today, as we did have a couple strong M-class solar flares earlier in the sun short, I noted large plasma filament eruption earth facing and we did have a halo cme which was detected yesterday that is an earth facing event this coronal mass ejection is on its way having a look a look at the last 48 hours incoming and outgoing outgoing active region there large plasma filament stretching from the surface of the sun probably 15 earths tall amazing solar cycle 25 a maximum now let's have a look at the biggest events the last four uh, two days on our sun most recent strong m-class solar flare large plasma filament eruption creating a coronal mass ejection and as well notable plasma filaments there cresting into view both on the North Pole and the South Pole having a look at multi-spectrum this is where we can see darkened regions which are coronal holes there is one developing in the northern region and as well equatorial cresting into view 171 angstroms here just some amazing loops of energy dancing around the surface of our sun and as well the multiple sunspot regions as we have eight sunspot regions earth facing have a quick look at these sunspot regions in motion this is showing the last two days of imagery time lapse put together here with daily events worldwide and as well solar dynamics observatory thank you so much for watching pressing play Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected still after a very static day, multiple M-class solar flares, solar winds coming in at 293 kilometers per second, still extremely low, solar X-ray flux showing here, two strong M-class solar flares and a bunch of moderate and strong C-class solar flares proton flux slightly elevated geomagnetic activity hopping up to a 2.5 and then look at this space weather prediction spiral showing a solar storm on its way impacting Earth 23rd into the 24th we can expect geomagnetic instability solar storm therefore we will see an aurora forecast for tomorrow stay tuned for daily events worldwide keeping you updated we'll let you know exactly where and how far south we'll be able to see these northern lights because with this big coronal mass ejection lots of plasma associated with it a little green circle there is earth expected arrival 24th of july That's a big CME, boys and girls. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, same thing, showing a CME taking off towards Earth. Accelerated. And here it's a expected arrival date is the 24th as well. Little yellow circle there is Earth. Amazing images here brought to you by NASA and SOHO and SDO. Having a look at Lasco 2, there's that halo CME, that fight, that slight faint cosmic energy all around the center disk there. That's when we do have an Earth facing event. Boom. And then just recently observing in the last few images, another coronal mass ejection coming from the southwest region of the sun. Now let's get to earthquakes. As you can see, a very deep earthquake has occurred today and we're going to start out with that fiji region 4.5 levuka fijian 641 kilometer depth 
very deep earthquake for the region. Large earthquake here, Vanuatu, Norsup, Vanuatu, 6.0 magnitude, multiple aftershocks through the region, highly volatile and volcanic region. Fakhar, Afghanistan, 4.6, 200-kilometer depth. Activity continuing in Greece. But yeah, Vanuatu. Let's have a look at USGS and see exactly where these earthquakes occurred. USGS is reporting 285 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Most re recently seeing some earthquakes around Panama. But we're going to start out here with Vanuatu where the 6.0 magnitude earthquake occurred. Multiple volcanic islands through the region, including this beast. Satellite imagery, ancient volcano may be awakening. We've seen some great changes and great earthquakes over the last little bit. So heads up, everybody, we could see some awakening volcanoes over the next while. Panama reporting a 5.7 earthquake today. Let's have a look at the last seven days all around the world. Reporting 2,038 earthquakes, seven day period. And just about a thousand of them have been here along the west coast of the United States, mostly California but increasing up into the Pacific Northwest and as well around Yellowstone. No new major swarms to talk about. Still keeping an eye on Kilauea Volcano and Hawaiian Island as well. 5.2 earthquake there, Scotia Plate. 4.6 Chile. Expecting something even bigger here, Central America. Heads up. Stay safe, be ready. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, just have a plan. Let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And feel the heartbeat, the pulse of the earth. Largest earthquake this week, 7.4 magnitude earthquake Chile. As well, we've seen sizable earthquake Vanuatu, Alaska. Guatemala, and now a very deep earthquake, Fiji. So heads up, we could see an even larger one coming, especially 641 kilometer depth. Now let's have a look at satellite imagery overlooking Canada as we still have hundreds of wildfires burning across western parts of, the, of Canada and as well the United States through Oregon and Washington seeing wildfires break out. And every Canadian province right now is seeing wildfires except for Quebec and Ontario and as well parts of the east coast satellite imagery we are smoked out and some very thick brown smoke was burning across northern BC and northern Alberta that started the day today so air quality is not good through Alberta Saskatchewan and Manitoba having a look at satellite imagery since the 18th of July Wildfires Seattle northward to the Yukon. Northwest Territories burning up. As well, parts of eastern Russia. As I noted last week, there were multiple wildfires breaking out and they are still burning. Nature Reserve there, hundreds of wildfires. Even some new ones here just recently popped up today. Some nasty air quality through Indonesia. All of the most recent volcanic eruptions and as well parts of northern Australia. High sulfur dioxide emissions and as well dust particulates here off the coast of Africa. Sahara dust storm sweeping into the central Atlantic. This is showing the last three days of satellite imagery. Multiple wildfires breaking out through Bolivia as well. Look at all these. Dozens of wildfires and as well. Rondonia, Brazil, Peru. 
look at all the hot spots in Africa. Stay safe and healthy out there, everybody, and just stay aware and prepared. And you can here with daily events worldwide, having a look at the SO2 forecast, overlooking Canada, showing all the SO2 content coming from the fires, and as well, Popup Ketatol volcano in Mexico. And on the left hand side, multiple volcanoes erupting on Kamchatka Island, eastern Russia. Overlooking South America, Africa. Notable eruptions at Etna all week long. And as well, notable eruptions all through Indonesia. Japan, big eruption at Sakurajima. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast as we do have typhoon here north of the Philippines. Typhoon Agami or Gami will be affecting Taiwan, Taipei, Taiwan Wednesday into Thursday and then making landfall through China, heading straight in to the center of the mainland and then heading out towards North Korea in the long range. Pretty strong cyclone here developing east of New Caledonia as well. Overlooking the Atlantic, no major hurricanes developing or cyclones in the Pacific. All is quiet on the Atlantic front right now, but watch for stormy conditions through Alberta this week. Wednesday into Thursday, very strong system will bring some relief for all of the wildfires there. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system grinding through Finland. After that, high pressure ridge moves in. Low pressure system swirling around Iceland will bring in waves of moisture towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. And then having a look at the forecast models here, no major cyclones or typhoons developing or new ones, except for the one running into North Korea, Typhoon Gami. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.